Hey guys, we've got a great workout for you today. It's called Marsha P. Johnson. Uh, please be sure to read about her in the description below as well as in Zen Planner. Uh, first, for the warm up, we're gonna go 45 seconds on a 15 second transition. You're gonna start with jump rope. Ideally, I want you to practice your double unders, or if you don't have double unders, then practice those penguin claps. After that, we're gonna go alternating step ups. So you'll have your box. I want you to take uh, about a foot width distance away from the box. You're gonna step up all the way so hips are fully extended, my shoulders are stacked over the hips and ankles. I'll come back down and then I'll switch legs and then stand all the way up to the top. And I'll just continue alternating for the 45 seconds. Next what we're gonna do is up downs. So very similar to a burpee, but we're gonna stay in a plank and we're not gonna jump and clap. So I'm gonna go down, jump my feet back, stay in this plank position, jump forward and stand. At the 25 second mark, I want you to switch to the burpee so we will have the chest and thighs touch and jump and clap at the top. I'll keep my feet wide and then add that jump and clap at the top. Next, we're gonna go empty barbell deadlifts. So for this, you're gonna have just your bar. Hands are gonna be outside the hips. Uh, I would suggest if you want to, you can go with a mixed grip. You could even do a mixed grip with a hook grip to really secure the bar. So for this setup, shoulders are gonna be down and back. We're gonna use the bar to push the butt back so the shins are vertical. After I get just past the knee, I'm going to stand all the way up at the top. So I'm squeezing my butt at the top and I'm keeping that bar nice and close to my legs. If uh, you don't have access to a barbell at home, what I want you to use instead is either a dumbbell or kettlebell. You're gonna hold it vertically um, by the head. Same setup. Feet are right underneath me, butt goes back, shins are vertical, I'll tap the weight and then stand all the way at the top. Uh, next we're going to do is go to our cardio. So uh, for this, I want either a row, bike, ski, or run. Next is going to be our box jump. So we're going to set up just like we did for our step up. So about a foot away from the box, I'm going to push my hips back. I'm also going to have my arms back. I'm then going to explode up using my arms like pistons. I'll land on the box with a bent knee and then I'll stand all the way at the top. I'll come down and repeat that for the 45 seconds. And then uh, the last part here, we're gonna warm up uh, with a weight for our deadlifts. And if you don't have a barbell, what I want you to do is go ahead and go to two uh, dumbbells or kettlebells. For this, what I would recommend same setup, but you're gonna keep the weights on the outside of your legs. You're gonna tap one head of each dumbbell and then stand all the way at the top. So um, after that, if you are using a barbell, take another three to five minutes to warm up to your working weight. It's a pretty heavy weight today, so just make sure you're good and warm. For the wad, uh, like I said, it's called Marsha P. Johnson. It's a 24 minute AMRAP. So what you're gonna do first is a buy-in. So you're only gonna do this once, 92 double unders, seven burpees. Okay, once you get those two movements done, you're done with those. And the time remaining, you're gonna complete an AMRAP, as many rounds and reps as possible of eight deadlifts. RX weight is 275 for guys, 203 for ladies, or use the heaviest pair of dumbbells or kettlebells that you have. Then you're gonna go 24 box jumps, 30 inches for the guys, 24 inches for ladies, or I would suggest broad jumps. You could also do a tuck jump uh, if you didn't have access to a box. And then the last piece is a 450 meter row. You could also ski or bike or 0.9K um, uh, bike. And then uh, if you don't have access to any of those machines, two minutes of jump rope. But ideally, you're, uh, if you have access to go outside for a run, do that. Uh, so a couple of things here. So for the double unders, 92, I know it's a lot for most people. Uh, if that's intimidating, some things you can do instead would be penguin claps. You don't have to worry about getting caught on the rope. Uh, you could count double under attempts. Uh, you could also practice 92 seconds of jump rope uh, working on those double unders. And then if all else fails, you can go to a weighted single under if you have a weighted jump rope or just regular single unders. Uh, for the uh, burpee, as always, uh, you can modify it. There's only seven reps, though, so I really want you to try and do like a regular RX burpee, but if you need to modify, go to that up-down. 
Uh, for the deadlifts, obviously reduce the weight if you need to. If your back's bothering you, you could also elevate uh, your weights, whether that be the plates on the dumb or on the barbell or your dumbbells, so you're not having to bend over quite as far. And then for the box jumps, you can always modify the height on those. Uh, you could do the step ups like we did in the warm up, or like I said, you could do a broad jump or a tuck jump uh, for those. So, um, and then like I said, for the for the 400 meters here, any machine's fine, or go out for a nice jog, or if you have to, two minutes jump rope roughly. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please let us know. Uh, on the daily mobility, I've just got our usual here, um, with the exception of I've swapped in some forearm uh, stretching. So if you have access to a stick, maybe a rolling pin in the kitchen, use that on the forearms, uh, especially after all those double unders and then the, holding the bar for the deadlifts. Uh, you could get a little bit tight in the forearms, so that'll help to, to roll those out. Uh, good luck on this. Uh, we've done this one a couple of times now, so go back in Zen Planner and look for your results. Try and match or beat those from before. Uh, in the uh, comments below, be sure to put your AMRAP score, uh, as well as any modifications that you made to the workout. Uh, enjoy, uh, good luck, and move well.